Essex Golf and Country Club is a private, 18-hole championship golf course located in La Salle, Ontario, south of Windsor. The club was established in 1902 under the name of Oak Ridge Golf Club, and from that date until 1910 played over a 3,400-yard nine-hole course on the Farwell Farm in Sandwich. Mr. George Mayer, the club's founder, was president. In the fall of 1910 the club purchased the Colonel Allen Prince Farm in the town of Sandwich on Center Road, now Prince Road at its intersection with College Avenue, not far from the Ambassador Bridge linking Windsor and Detroit. The property consisted of 40 acres of land and a nine-hole golf course was constructed in 1911. During construction, members were invited to play at the Walkerville Country Club, which started out as a tennis club, situated at the present site of Walkerville Collegiate in the town of Walkerville founded in 1890 by the distiller Hiram Walker. Mr. Hiram W. Walker, a nephew of Hiram Walker and mayor of Walkerville, became a member of Essex in 1914. The Oak Ridge Golf Club merged with the Walkerville Club and then the name was changed to the Essex County Golf and Country Club. The nine-hole course was open for play in the spring of 1912 and was in use until the fall of 1914 when additional land having been procured, an 18-hole course was built. During 1917 more land was purchased and the course was remodeled under the direction of Detroit golf course professional Ernest Way to make a longer 18-hole 5,705-yard course. The growth of the community resulted in the club losing its country club character, and the decision was made to relocate to a more rural setting. In the mid-1920s 126 acres of wooded farmland was purchased in the town of LaSalle. Dot. The services of the legendary golf course architect, Donald J. Ross was retained and construction of a 6,525-yard course was commenced in 1928. Construction was supervised by John Gray who, like Ross, was a native-born Scotsman. Mr. Gray, who had been a greenskeeper at the Prince Road course, remained so at the new course until his death in 1958 at age 73. Gray's advice was sought by many because of his expertise. He was a charter member of the United States National Greenskeepers Association when the organization was formed in Toledo, Ohio in 1926. The new clubhouse was modeled on an English country house and was designed by the Windsor architectural firm of Shepard, Nichols, and Masson. It opened on July 1, 1929. When the Detroit District Golf Association was formed in 1919 by 14 clubs, several of the founding clubs had Ross courses, among which was Essex. It continued the connection through the years and still belongs to the Golf Association of Michigan as well as the Golf Association of Ontario and the Royal Canadian Golf Association. In the early 1930s, the club encountered financial difficulties and sought relief from the courts on interest payments. During the next several years, mutually satisfactory arrangements were made with the bondholders and in 1948 the club obtained a new charter and started to operate as the Essex Golf and Country Club on June 1, 1949. From its birth, Essex was placed by knowledgeable golfers in the front rank of courses anywhere. This carried a lot of prestige since within a hundred miles are found Oakland Hills, Detroit Golf Club, Country Club of Detroit, Franklin Hills, Meadowbrook, all in the Detroit area and Inverness and Toledo. Very few courses surpass these in interest and character. They have provided enjoyable rounds for the club members and also have stood up to the talents of some of the finest golfers in the world in major championships, both open and amateur. Essex was played regularly by many great players who became club pros in Detroit, including Walter Hagen, Al Watrous, Horton Smith and others. A frequent visitor in the 1930s was Babe Didrikson Zaharias, one of the greatest all-around athletes of her time. In 1915 Essex admitted Miss Kate Duncan who became the first lady member. By 1921, Essex had 10 lady members. Miss Duncan remained a member until her death in 1967. Kate Duncan Day was established in her memory. Among its members, Essex has boasted some very accomplished players. Dr. George F. Lying, who was a fine senior player and seven times Essex club champion, Nick Westlock, a former Essex caddy who won many amateur tournaments and Rudy Horvath who was a prominent player on the PGA Tour until the 1950s. As a tournament site, Essex has provided a strong challenge to some of the top players in the world. It hosted the Ontario Open Championship in 1922, 1949 and 1951, the 1934 Ontario Amateur, the Canadian Women's Amateur in 1964 and, at the top of the list, the Canadian Open in 1976. The latter event was won by Jerry Pate, who established the official competitive course record of 63, 
Shooting 69 67 68 63 equals 267, over a field that included Arnold Palmer, Jack Nicholas, Gary Player, Tom Watson, Raymond Floyd, Johnny Miller, Jim Colbert, Tom Weisskopf, Tom Kite, Ben Crenshaw, Gene Littler, Bruce Leitsky and virtually all of the best tournament players of the day. The golf world's attention was once again focused on Essex when the club hosted the 1998 Du Maurier Classic, the fourth major on the LPGA Tour. The $1.2 Two million tournament was held from July 27 to August 2, a great financial success, recorded as one of the best-run Du Maurier events ever which broke an all-time attendance record in the 25-year history of the event. The $180,000 first place prize was won by Brandy Burton with an 18 under par 270, one stroke better than Annika Sorenstam. The field included LPGA Hall of Famers Nancy Lopez, Joanne Carter and Beth Daniel as well as the 1988 rookie sensation Sayree Pack and all of the world's finest LPGA players. The highlight of the centennial year was the hosting of the PGA Senior Tours 1. 6 million AT&T Canada Senior Open Championship, placing the club as one of the only three Canadian golf clubs to have hosted a PGA Tour, LPGA Tour and a Senior PGA Tour event. Tom Jenkins won the tournament over Bruce Leitsky, Morris Hadelsky, and Walter Morgan. A new course record was set when 61-year-old Walter Morgan recorded an incredible 11 under par 60 in the second round of the tournament, improving on the 63 shot by Jerry Pate in the 1976 Canadian Open. In 1998, Essex also undertook a massive renovation project to improve the club's facilities, practice range, parking, course maintenance facility and a total refurbishment of the clubhouse facilities. In 2002, the club's 100th year, Essex embarked on a major kitchen improvement plan, enlarging and equipping the existing facility with the most up-to-date conveniences. In addition, the entire roof of the magnificent structure was replaced. During 2003, work was completed on a new million-dollar irrigation system. Essex was also privileged to host the seniors' triangular matches composed of teams from Canada and the United States and an international team from the British Isles. The fall of 2005 saw the commencement of the Renaissance Plan, a project which included restoring the fairways and greens back to their original Donald Ross design as well as a rebuilding and restoration of the bunkers. The project was completed in the fall of 2006. Thanks for watching.